Uh, so in this lecture, we will be discussing about research methods. Um, research methods are basically the heart of psychology, psychology AS and A2 as well. So the first research method we will be tackling are experiments. So what even are experiments? So on the, basically the definition of an experiment is that it is an investigation which looks for a cause and effect relationship. When we talk about experiments, the most important thing you should be having an idea about our variables. There are two main variables we need to keep in mind always when we talk about an experiment. The first variable is an independent variable and the second variable is the dependent variable. An independent variable, also known as the IV, is a variable that the experimenter himself or herself changes or manipulates to see how it impacts the result of an experiment. The second variable, which is DV or a dependent variable, it is a variable that gets affected when you bring changes in the IV or independent variable. A dependent variable is also known as the dependent variable as it is dependent on the changes on the IV. To give you guys a proper understanding of whatever I said, let me give you an example. So let us create the scenario in which you as an experimenter is looking for a cause and effect relationship between how amount of light in a classroom can affect the concentration level of students. As an experimenter, we assume that the amount of light does have an effect on the concentration level of students in a classroom. To figure this out, we had put three different levels of independent variables as light 1, light 2, and light 3. On the first level of the IV, we are conducting a class with one light switched on. On the second level, the class is being conducted with two light switched on. And on the third, the class is being conducted with three light switched on. In this case, we are manipulating our one variable which is light and that is our independent variable. We are doing this to see how does it affect our dependent variable which is our concentration level of students. In an experiment such as here, we are testing for concentration level of students. There can be many other factors that can affect the concentration level of students other than light. Now, the first type of variables we are going to be talking about are extraneous variables. These variables are known as extraneous variables as they could have had possibly affected the research in some way, but the experimenter could have controlled them. Example of extraneous variables can be seating arrangement, temperature, noise, hunger, etc. The second type of variables are confounding variables. Confounding variables are factors which are beyond the control of an experimenter. As it is a factor which cannot be controlled by the experimenter, the confounding variable can have some unintentional effects on the dependent variable. The third type of variables are participant variables. Participant variables are related to individual characteristics that how one may respond in an experiment. Examples of participant variables may include gender, age, ethnicity, socioeconomic class, literacy status, mood, clinical diagnosis, etc.